Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We give you the praise, Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We exalt your name, my God. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, my Father, that when God is with us, who can be against us? Father, we thank you, God, because we are with you, my God. Nothing, nothing, and absolutely nothing, my God, can ever defeat us. Lord, we give you the praise now. We give you the glory. We honor your name, my God. We glorify your name, my God. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Everybody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I can hear. Hallelujah. They still did in the house. Amen. Amen. For us to truly embrace the season of grace for restoration, we need to come to a point whereby like we eliminate any thought of surrendering. Like I said before, we are in the season of grace for restoration. Hallelujah. And for us to fully embrace that season, remove any thought, even if it's a small trace of surrendering in your life, just remove it. It must not be part of your vocabulary. Amen. It must not be part of your vocabulary because going back is not an option. Hallelujah. We need to be fully persuaded in our spirit that this of restoration indeed will manifest in our lives. Fully persuaded. Hallelujah. Someone say fully persuaded. Fully persuaded. Amen. Without any doubt. Hallelujah. So we need to come to a point where like we close our ears to any noise that you say otherwise. Hallelujah. Choose to close your ears to anything that will say otherwise, that will disturb you. Amen. Choose to be deaf to any negativity coming your way. Hallelujah. People may say something about you. They may say, ah, your age is past. What you do? Just refuse to surrender. People may say, no, but you know your credit score does not allow you to buy the house that you want or the car that you want. Refuse to surrender. People will say, no, but the papers ain't an issue here. Refuse to surrender. Hallelujah. Because the final thing, the thing that the final say over your life is the word of God. Hallelujah. Not people, not people, not situation. The word of God is the one that has a final say over your life. Even you, you who is watching us from home, I don't know where you're watching from, from where, but where you're watching us, I want you to know that you must refuse to surrender. Refuse to surrender. Men of God, you want to buy a church, you want to buy a building, and the bank said they don't give money to church. I said to you, refuse to surrender. God will make a way. Hallelujah. God will make the way. He is the way maker. Hallelujah. Let's just read this our scripture that I said, um, Matthew 15, verse 21. I will read. From there, Jesus took a trip. I will read from the Message Bible. From there, Jesus took a trip to Tyre and Sidon. They had, they had hardly arrived when a Canaanite woman came down from the hills and pleaded, Mercy, Master, Son of David, my daughter is cruelly afflicted by an evil spirit. Jesus ignored her. The disciples came and complained, Now she's bothering us. Will you please take, her, take care of her? She's driving us crazy. Jesus refused, telling them, I've come, I've got my hands full dealing with the lost sheep of Israel. Then the woman came back to Jesus, dropped to her knees, and begged, Master, help me. He said, It's not right to take the bread out of children's mouth and throw it to dogs. 27. She was quick. You are right, Master. But beggar dogs do get straps from the master's table. Jesus gave him, Oh woman, your faith is something else. 
What you want is what you get. Right then, her daughter became well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a story from the word of God of a woman who refused to surrender. When all the situations were forcing her to surrender, and she refused to surrender. Hallelujah. She just refused to surrender. And at the end, we've seen what happened. And this is what we also ought to do as children of God. Refuse to surrender. Even Jesus Christ, at one time, he faced a tough decision, but he refused to surrender. Hallelujah. Even though he was facing some tough decision, he refused to surrender. So we were just going to go through some pillar points uh, this evening or this morning, depending where you're watching us from. Hallelujah. Over this topic we're talking about tonight. My first, the first uh, pillar point is have a stubborn faith. Hallelujah. First point, have a stubborn faith. Have a stubborn faith. Amen. Hallelujah. When we read the word of God, we could see that the woman exercised faith and she had a stubborn faith. Hallelujah. When things were contrary to what she wanted. If you read the word of God, we can see that Jesus Christ, even Jesus Christ, firstly, he chose to not to entertain the woman. If you read the word of God, verse 23, tells us that he says, but he answered her not a word. But he answered her not a word. So one zebra, he pretended as if he did, he did not hear her when the woman was crying to her, to him. Hallelujah. Three times. And on verse 24, he said, But he answered and said to her, when he finally spoke to her, Bible says, But he answered and said to her, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman persisted. Amen. And verse 26, it says, But he answered and said, it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Hallelujah. Imagine you want help. Your daughter is being tormented by demons and you want help and you hear words like this. Hallelujah. You could be also pursuing something in your life right now and you hear answers or you hear talks that are hating you one way or the other. I'm here to tell you that refuse to surrender. Don't take your eyes off the goal. The goal of the woman when he came to Jesus was to have a daughter being delivered from those tormenting demons. You have the goal that you are facing that you want to see coming to pass in your life. I don't know what it could be. It could be work related. It could be financial related. It could be marriage. It could be whatsoever. Don't take your eyes off the goal. The words can be spoken against you that you may not like, that you may not, that you may not feel you happy, but refuse to surrender. Hallelujah. Refuse to surrender. Jesus, at the beginning, he refused to entertain the woman, but the woman refused to surrender. She stood her ground because she knew what she wanted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She knew what she wanted. Even you, don't take your eyes off the goal. Let's go to Isaiah 7, verse 9. The 
book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 9. If you are there, say Amen. Hallelujah. Are we there? Amen. Okay, I will read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 9. The Bible reads, Israel is not stronger than its capital, Samaria. And Samaria is no stronger than its king, its king, Pekka, son of Remaiah. Unless your faith is firm, I cannot make you stand firm. Hallelujah. Unless your faith is firm, you need to be firm in your faith. Faith is the subject of the things called for, the evidence of things not seen. You will have to be firm in your faith. Hallelujah. Be firm in your faith. Even if the situations are not agree with you. Hallelujah. They are not agree. The laws of the country are not agree with you. There are certain regulations that are not agree with you. Stand firm in your faith. Hallelujah. Stand firm. The Bible says, unless your faith is firm, I cannot make you stand firm. Hallelujah. You are the one who must stand firm in your faith. We can hear the word of encouragement. We can encourage each other and things like that. But at the end of the day, you as an individual, you as a father, you as a mother, you as a brother, you as a leader, you have to stand firm yourself. Hallelujah. You have to stand firm in your faith yourself and refuse to surrender. Hallelujah. Have the stop of faith. Then you see your breakthrough coming to pass. Amen. Point number two. Challenges are breakthrough opportunities. Challenges are breakthrough opportunities. Like the woman who faced these challenges here. Hallelujah. She overcame them and she received her breakthrough. Let us go to the word of God, uh, Genesis chapter 50. Genesis chapter 50. You will not fail. You will not fail. I'm telling you, you will not fail. Hallelujah. You will not fail. They may say, no, these things, they take long. These things, they never happen. You, 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 you are not other people. You are the child of God. You don't you don't go, you don't follow the crowds. Hallelujah. You are different. Amen. You are different. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. The Bible says, But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. To do what? Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones, and you comforted them and spake kindly unto them. This is the story of Joseph with his brothers. Hallelujah. This is the story of Joseph with his brothers. Joseph faced so many challenges. Hallelujah. He faced so many challenges. Hallelujah. But those challenges, they are the one that led to the whole nation being saved. You know when there's famine, there will be no water, nothing will grow in, animals will die, and things like that. Hallelujah, when there's famine. But because Joseph was already in Egypt, he was able to bring the whole family to Egypt. Hallelujah. He brought the whole family to Egypt. So sometimes you may be facing some challenges in our lives. Don't wish challenges away. Don't wish challenges away. Hallelujah. Don't wish challenges away. Don't wish to say, I don't want any challenges in my life. I just want to. My life just things to just go smoothly. Don't wish challenges away from you. Because challenges are the ones at times 
that make you reach a certain level in life that you will not have reached if those challenges were not there. Hallelujah. Sometimes when the challenges are there, we get to learn certain things through those challenges. So don't wish challenges away from your life. Amen. Just use the challenges as a stepping tool because challenges, they are the breakthrough opportunities in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. So refuse the lies of the devil that will tell you that you will never make it when you face a challenge. Just refuse. Sometimes you refuse not because you know what to do, but still refuse. Hallelujah. Still refuse that I'll go through this thing. This thing will not have a in my life. It will not have a say. Even though you may not know what you're going to do. Hallelujah. But still refuse to allow or to agree with the enemy. Hallelujah. Because those challenges, definitely, they shall be breakthrough opportunities in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Point number three. The bigger the dream, the bigger the challenge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you here? Amen. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the dream, the bigger the challenge. The woman, when she came to Jesus, she faced so many challenges. She faced so many challenges, but she refused to surrender. Hallelujah. And some of the challenges she faced, firstly, the Bible tells us this woman was a Canaanite. She was not from Israel. And Jesus, you know when Jesus will move around, he will fall by crowds. And there are other people as well from the house of Israel, from the children of Israel, they needed help one way or the other, maybe healing or whatsoever. But this woman, even though she was, a, she was not from Israel and she had a Canaanite, she refused to let that to let her to stop her. Hallelujah. She was not from Israel, she refused to let that to stop her. I don't know what is it that maybe you can point it and say, Ish. but this is true. I don't have this thing. Maybe I don't have these papers. Maybe Ish. maybe I'm not from this country. I don't know what is it. The woman refused to allow those things to stop her. She didn't say, hey, but Jesus must, must first take care of the, of the children of Israel. She refused that because she wanted to go forward. She refused to surrender. That's one of the challenges that she went first. And the second challenge that she faced was the disciples. Let's just read again. From the word of God. Matthew 15, verse 23. I think it's verse 23. Yeah, verse 23. But he answered her, not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Firstly, she was not from Israel. And now she must deal with all these 12 guys. Send her away. She's causing too much noise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She refused even there to stop her. Amen. She refused. Don't allow anything and no one else to stop you from pursuing what you pursue in your life, to pursue your dreams. Hallelujah. Don't allow anyone or anything to stop you one way or the other. That's one of the things that she faced. And another thing that she faced, that was a challenge with 
read it before. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, he first tried, Jesus tried, first tried to avoid it three times like we've read before. But all those things, she didn't take them to heart. Hallelujah. She didn't allow those things to stop her to surrender. So I'm saying to you, continue to dream. Continue to dream big. Hallelujah. Your dream is valid. Continue to dream big. Dreams don't die. They don't die. Dreams don't die. Hallelujah. No matter what it is that you may face, dreams don't die. Joseph had the dream as well. And the dream never died until it was fulfilled. Your dreams are valid. The dreams you have, God gave them to you. God is the one who gave you those dreams. God is the one who gave you that dream. Refuse to surrender. The fact that the dream you have came from God does not necessarily mean that then there will not going to be any challenges. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David did not anoint himself. The prophet Samuel came all the way to anoint him to be king. But for him to ascend to the throne, it was challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge. I don't know if there's any of us here who might who has faced such challenges that they faced. I don't know, even in the point of death. But he refused to surrender. In his mind, he always knew that one day, one day, I will ascend to the throne. I want you to also to have that mindset that one day, that dream you have, do not make it small. Don't make it, make it too small. Say, make it feel like, no, it is too much, it is too big. Your God is too big as well. He is the one who gave you that dream. Don't make it small. Don't cut it to size and feel like no, I'm dreaming too much. Hallelujah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a black man. Or I'm just a I'm just a woman. Or I'm just whatsoever. Or I'm just a zoo. I'm just a zoo. I'm just Hallelujah. The dream that you have, it is valid. Hallelujah. The dream that you have, it is valid. Amen. The bigger the dream, the bigger the challenge. Face it head on. God is on your side. God is with you. Hallelujah. Your dream will come to pass. Don't surrender. Hallelujah. Don't surrender. Amen. The challenges you are facing, don't worry about them. Face them. Hallelujah. God said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. He said, I will never leave you. Under no circumstance will I leave you or forsake you. Don't blame yourself. Don't look at yourself and say, you know what? I am in this situation because I did this and that. Hallelujah. God is on your side. God is faithful. He can never be unfaithful. Your dream is valid and your dream shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That place with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to give an opportunity for someone who has never said yes to Jesus? It only starts with Jesus. It starts with Jesus. That's the first step in our lives. It starts with Jesus. If you are watching us at home, wherever you are watching us from, I want to give you an opportunity this evening to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. Maybe you are saying, I've got the dreams as well, and I don't know how they're going to come to pass. Jesus wants to help you to fulfill those dreams, to bring them to pass. And if you've never said yes to Jesus, we have to give you the opportunity right now to, to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior, to accept him in your life. And if you are ready to pray, we just want to pray with you. Hallelujah. Right now, amen. Church, let's help us to pray. Hallelujah. Those who are giving their lives to the Lord, amen.
pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that today I am giving my life to you and opening my heart that you may come in and become my Lord and my Savior. Lord Jesus, thank you that today my sins have been forgiven. Thank you, Jesus, that my sins have been washed away by your blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. If you have made that prayer, hallelujah, if you made that prayer, and you are living in the presence of Captain Park, feel free to come to our church, our church, hallelujah, which is situated at number nine, Jubilee Street, hallelujah. If you are far, just get a church, hallelujah, that, that preaches the word of God, please go to church, get yourself a Bible, hallelujah, and begin to read the word, and be yourself, and grow in the word of God, in Jesus' name, amen.